Hey girls, in this video, I'm gonna be explaining how the nutrition side of things work, as well as our neat and flexible dieting. Now, these things are extremely important in terms of your goals, and it's really, really important for you to understand this, It's just why that this is gonna be video number one. Now, when the first part we need to discuss is calories. Now, in order for us to lose body fat, or in order for us to gain body fat, we need to understand that it's the calories that we consume versus the calories that we burn is gonna help achieve that certain, uh, that certain goal. Now, I have an example here, right? So we're gonna be giving the example of Shelly. Now, Shelly has come to me asking to lose body fat. She wants to build up some muscle and to try and improve her shape, improve her strength, and get more confident and lose body fat. Now, after a certain amount of questions that you may have seen that I've asked you a certain amount of questions in your Google Sheets, I can then find out a recommendation of how many calories that she would be burning every single day. Now, for this example, Kelly here, oh, Shelly, Shelly burns 2,000 calories per day. Now, this is based on uh, her activity levels. So what is she doing during the day? Um, is she you know, walking a lot during the day? Is she sitting down during the day? Does she train already or is she going to be training? Does she play any sports? Uh, things like that. So that is stuff that I need to know of how active that someone is, um, as well as other questions as well, which I've asked you, just to see exactly how many calories per day that you would be burning. So based on uh, what I've worked out, that Shelly would be burning roughly around 2,000 calories per day. Now, in order for Shelly to lose body fat, she needs to eat under 2,000 calories per day. So what we do is, okay, we work it out. So if she's burning 2,000 calories a day, per day, what she would need to eat, we're gonna drop her calories down by 500 calories. So we drop her calories per day of 500 and we give her 1,500 calories to eat per day. This gives her a 500 calorie drop each day. And because of that, this is called a calorie deficit. She's in an energy deficit. Okay, so because of that, Shelly will now burn body fat because she's eating less calories than she is burning, all right? So that is the basic understanding of how losing body fat or gaining body fat works. If she was to gain body fat and she's burning 2,000 calories per day, Shelly would need to continuously eat over 2,000 calories per day to put on body fat. If Shelly ate 2,000 calories per day, and she burns 2,000 calories a day, she will stay exactly the same, which is called our maintenance. So we wanna eat, for at the moment, for most of, the, most of you girls, you wanna eat just under your maintenance, all right? So that's kind of how losing body fat works. Now, because as well, we need to look at how that we are looking. So again, it comes down to the shape, and we, so we wanna look at trying to build muscle or that tone, you know, the tone look that girls are after. Um, or we're looking to build some shape, right? Now this is gonna come down to how we are training in the gym and also our macronutrients. Now, our macronutrients are three things, the three main things. It's protein, fat, and carbohydrates, which is here, okay? Now, to build the shape, the muscle, and the tone, Shelly must focus on her macros, and that's a very short abbreviation of macronutrients. Protein, carbs, and fats. Now these three things will equal calories. That's what the big pot is of calories and it's broken down into protein, carbs, and fats. So I would then need to give her macronutrients to follow for her for each day. So I may give her a certain amount of numbers and let's say, okay, so Shelly, you would need to eat 140 grams of protein each day. You will need to eat 50 grams of fat each day and you can have 140 grams of carbohydrates each day and that'll equal the 1,500 calories. Now, because I've given her that number and the flexibility, so she now can choose certain foods that she would like to eat each day based on the numbers that I've given her. If I was to give her a meal plan, she may not like the foods, she's not gonna learn and have a better understanding of how the nutritional side of things work, and she's not gonna get any more independent with this side of things, so she's not actually learning. Now I want you girl, girls to learn and understand. I want you girls to learn and understand exactly 
why certain things are working or why they're not working. And you're gonna find out that there are certain foods that are really high in calories that may not be good for your goals. So I then give Shelly the flexibility to go, hey Shelly, I want you to choose the foods that you wanna eat based on what you like, but you have a limit of putting them food, those foods into your daily numbers. So now because I've given her that freedom and that flexibility and the choice to choose what she likes to eat, this makes it easier for her to follow. Now, if we are consistently following this, we're gonna get better results. But if we go on and then go off and then go on and off, we're not gonna get the results that we're after, okay? So this is now called flexible dieting. Flexible dieting gives you the flexibility to choose the foods that you want based on your goals. So to put in perspective, there is no single food that's going to lead to body fat or gaining body fat. And there is no single food that's going to lead to losing body fat because every single piece of food holds a certain amount of calories, okay? Now those calories are broken down inside into protein, fat, and carbohydrates. So an example would be like a pizza. You know, we could have three slices of pizza. Now, it may not be good for our goals because there could be a lot of fat in there as well. There could be a little bit of protein, a little bit, a bit more of carbs, which means there is a lot of calories in that. Now, if we need to eat 1,500 calories and we eat this, let's say three slices of pizza, that could come to maybe like seven or 800 calories, right? We're not gonna put on body fat right at the moment, but because of that, those three slices of pizza, and if we're eating 1,500 calories, then the three slices of pizza brings us up to here already. We've only got this much room left to play with it the rest of our day. And that can be really hard. For some people, what they do is they, they may have those three slices of pizza, but then they will continue on with the rest of the day and have other things that become higher in calories. And where the limit is here, they keep eating above that limit. And then if we're eating above that limit, that's when we're gonna look at putting on body fat, okay? So while the pizza didn't, directly do it, it did bring our limit up, wow, a ceiling point quite closer. And because of that, it only had a little bit left of room left to go, okay? So I hope that you understand that, that there is no food in the world that will make you put on body fat. It's the food choices and how much you continuously eat versus how many calories that you're burning every day that's gonna help, it's gonna get towards your goals, okay? So with these numbers here, you're gonna be choosing certain foods that you like, that you enjoy, that's gonna fall into those numbers, all right? So we still wanna make sure that we're eating 80% of our whole nutritional valued foods. They're gonna make us feel really good inside. They're gonna keep us healthy on the inside, okay? But then I want you to choose 10 to maybe even, sorry, 20% of foods that you really like to enjoy that are seen as like sweet or like cheap foods, okay? So providing that we are eating and into our calories and our macronutrients, we're gonna be fine, okay? So just understand that, that you know, if you love ice cream, that's cool, you can have ice cream, but you've gotta make sure that you fit it into your numbers, all right? Uh, making sure that you fit it into numbers because if it's not and it's going over your certain amount each day, then we could have an issue, okay? So we need to make sure that the foods that we're choosing are gonna suit our goals, all right? So have that in mind. Have, make sure we're still eating plenty of fruits and vegetables, um, whole foods, like um, also like pro lean proteins, but then also have the freedom and flexibility to have the foods that you really like to have, those sweet foods, because that's gonna help you with your consistency. And if we're consistent in this calorie deficit, that's when we're gonna lose body fat. Now, the other part that I wanna talk about is our NEAT. Now, our NEAT is our non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So that's basically how many calories that we're burning that isn't to do with actual exercise. Now, this would be brushing our teeth or me talking right now. With me talking right now, I'm burning calories by doing this. Um, if you were to like get dressed in the morning, you're waking up, you go and brush your teeth and get ready for work, you put your makeup on, um, you know, putting your clothes on, that all takes calories to burn, right? So we need to think about that. There are other things like walking, Walking is something that's massive, that's not classed as exercise, but it can burn a lot of calories. So 
This is an example here. There may be days, and there might be busy days for you and for, for Shelly at the moment. Shelly is too busy, but she doesn't burn the 2,000 calories of what we've estimated because, because she just sat down at work all day, right? So what I would do is I'll give Shelly a step goal. All right, Shelly, you need to hit 10,000 steps per day. By you hitting 10,000 steps per day, I know that you're gonna be burning roughly 2,000 calories a day. And if you're burning that, I'm gonna give you 1,500 calories to eat, which means we're gonna lose body fat. But if Shelly over here has a busy day and she only does maybe two or 3,000 steps per day, she's not burning the 2,000 calories anymore. She may burn only 1,200 or even up to 1,500 calories that day. Now, if she's only burning that much and we're only eating 1,500 calories a day, we're now not getting towards our goals. We're now not in that calorie deficit and we're not gonna be losing body fat anymore. So we need to make sure that the step target we're reaching. So this is gonna be a priority and we need to make sure that we're reaching these daily steps every single day to make sure that we're burning the certain amount of calories that we need to burn toward, to get to our, our goal, okay? So having a, a watch like this, like a little step tracker, now you don't need to go out and get something extravagantly expensive. You can get step trackers uh, online or you can go to a shop, eBay, anything like that. You can get it for like as little as 20 bucks. So what I need from you girls is to get a step tracker, have that on your watch, uh, have that on your wrist. I don't want anything that's on the phone because you're not always gonna have your phone 24 hours a day. But if you can have it on your wrist, it's gonna track the certain amount of movements. Like I'm now moving. This is now me burning calories. So if it's in your pocket, it doesn't understand that you're moving around, you're burning calories. So you need to get a step tracker and it starts to track the steps and the movement that you're doing. It's gonna help us get towards our goals. Then I give you a number and then you've got to look at it and go, cool, I'm now more aware that I need to reach you know, 12,000 steps a day or 10,000 steps a day, or maybe it's as little as five or 7,000 steps. These steps are gonna be individualized based on your daily activity. I'm not gonna give you something that's way too hard to reach. I'm gonna make sure that it is higher so then you're aware and then you need to keep moving, okay? So that's basically how it works. So I'll give her the, calorie, the steps so I know that she's burning those 2,000 calories. Uh, and then because of this, I know that she's burning 2,000 calories. I know she's eating 1,500 calories. So I know that there's a calorie deficit. I know there's 500 calories there that she's burning every day. Now, because of that, there is no need for cardio because I know she's burning 500 calories every single day. And that's why then you don't need the cardio because cardio is not a magic tool. Cardio is only a tool to burn more calories. And if we're already doing that through our steps and our nutrition, there is no need to burn the card do through cardio just yet. Cardio can be used later on on the journey when we can't increase our steps even more or drop our calories down even more. Then we can just throw cardio in to burn more calories and continue on with our results. I'll talk to you a little bit more about cardio as we keep going, but right now, there's no need for you to, to do cardio because you're gonna get results by tracking your intake and burning your steps, or calories through your steps every day. Now, I hope, you under, hope that makes things really clear and easy for you to understand that we now have calories, macronutrients, and our NEAT is gonna to help to get to your goals.